Hello everyone and welcome back to Sincerely Grace. So today I am going to be doing a review on one of my newest and most used handbags at the moment, which is my Saint Laurent Nikki handbag. Oh my goodness guys, I love this bag. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so this is my newest Saint Laurent handbag and I received this during Christmas time. And I just love this bag. I loved it from the very first time that I saw it because it reminded me so much of the Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton. I mean, the structure of it is pretty similar. The first thing that drew myself to this purse was the understated logo. Now, if you're familiar with Saint Laurent, you know that Saint Laurent logo is basically like in your face logo. Um, basically it stands out. So whenever I saw this understated look, I was definitely in, into it. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing that drew me to this bag was the similar structure to the Pochette Matisse. So if you own the Pochette Matisse and you're looking for something similar but a different style, definitely recommend looking at the Saint Laurent Nikki bag. Now this is in the medium size and this color is light caramel. And this is actually a season color from, I want to say it was fall of 2020 or winter of 2020. So Saint Laurent has their signature colors that they come out with or that they have that will always go ahead and be made. And, and then they have their seasonal depending on the season. They will go ahead and add more colors and then they probably will remake them or they won't. So right now I know that this bag or this color is available, but the straps are in silver. So I love this color combination. So it is, they call it light caramel, but I believe it's a true caramel color with the gold hardware. Another thing that I have to say about this bag is these leather straps here. So whenever you carry a purse, the more and more that you put in, if it's a chain purse, the chain will start to dig on your shoulder. So whenever I saw that this bag came with this leather strap, I was like, oh my goodness, guys, this honestly makes a difference. So if you know that if you're if you're the kind of person that carries a lot in your purse, then you know what I mean by this. And so this bag, you're able to wear it on your shoulder and you're also able to wear it cross body. Definitely doubles. And let me show you the inside. So it does have this click closure, so it's definitely easy to get into. And I still have the protectant wear here on the hardware, as you can see. But basically it has two main compartments, just like the Pochette Matisse. So this one has a larger compartment here in the back and then it also has a smaller compartment here and it also comes with a little side right here pouch and a zip zip up pouch in the very back. So it is definitely roomy. This bag, um, like I said, is in the medium size, but it fits a ton. Um, I think that it fits actually more than the Pochette Matisse. And the main reason why I fell in love with this structure is because not only is this one a lot easier to get into, because if you own the Pochette Matisse, you know that sometimes it's hard to get in and out of. This one, like I said, is a click closure, so you, it's a magnetic click closure. So it is secure, but you do have your, you can easily just basically open it up. And it's quite open here. And then it also has, like I said, this um, main compartment here in the front. So definitely can fit all your essentials. And this is what it looks like from the side. So as you can see, you can tell that this is more of a slouchy, casual bag. Um, this bag is in the crinkly like leather. So it's meant to look like a distressed, edgy look, which, oh my goodness, guys, like I said, I just love. And it does have these two handles here, which you can make them longer or shorter, um, depending. They're not as easy to make long and short as a Chanel bag, but it basically is the same concept. So you do have the two 
um, openings here for the statue. And like I said, you can go ahead and make it longer or make it shorter. So this is what it looks like longer. So I've been using it on my shoulder. I find that that's the most comfortable for me just because this bag is just so squishy. You definitely do not have to be careful with it. It's meant to look more on the edgy side. Um, it's definitely a slouchy bag, so it's not a structured bag. And the main reason and the best part about this bag is that it has this secure opening here in the back. So like I said, I was looking for a bag that was similar to my Pashamatis, but I wanted a different style. And this one is definitely one that hit all the check marks. One, I love the slouchiness of it. It's not such structured bag. I love the understated YSL. And I also love that you have this back pocket here, which the main reason why I make such a fuss about the back pocket is because, I mean, I have my phone on me basically 24, well, 24 seven, but basically in my hand, I need to get to it. And this pocket makes it so easy to get in and out of. I basically slide my phone in whenever I get a text, whenever I get a call, I can easily just open it up and it just makes it so convenient. Um, definitely an easy bag to get in and out of. So let me show you guys what it actually looks like on. So my outfit definitely does not go with the style of this bag, but you guys get the point. So this is what it looks like crossbody. So it is pretty long. And let me show you guys what it looks like on the shoulder. So this is what I mean whenever it's just so comfortable on the shoulder. It's a very slouchy, not structured. So I definitely think that this bag is so versatile and just really pretty. So if you guys are contemplating getting the Nike bag, I definitely recommend going into the store, trying them on because they do have different sizes. Like I said, this is the medium size. I know that they have a large. I'm not quite sure if they have a small. I think they do. I'm not quite sure. But um, I definitely recommend going into the store, trying it on, seeing if you like the strap size if you're planning to use it crossbody. Um, but I definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend it because guys, it's just such a carefree bag, very understated, more on the edgier side, which I needed a more edgier side purse. So I just, I've, I've been loving it. So guys, that is all for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my mini review on my Saint Laurent Nikki bag. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.